As one of the most popular themes for WordPress, Divi is a great option to build amazing web pages with. But if you wanna make your Divi website even more engaging, you could consider embedding your Instagram content on your web pages. In this video, I'll show you how to embed your Instagram content on your Divi website in beautiful feeds like this. If you're ready, let's get started. The easiest way to add an Instagram feed to Divi is by using the Instagram Feed Pro plugin by Smashblue. The plugin lets you add fast and responsive Instagram feeds to your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes and without using any coding. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find the download link and license key inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress website. And on my screen right now, you can see the Divi web page that we're going to be adding our Instagram feed to. To get started, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. On the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Next, click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file that you just downloaded from smashballoon.com like this. Once uploaded, click on Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we go and start creating our Instagram feed, let's go and activate the license key. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over this and click on Settings. And beside License Key, you can enter the license key you copied from smashballoon.com like this. Then click on Activate. And it looks like our license key is now activated, so we can go begin creating our new Instagram feed. On the left-hand side, under Instagram Feed, click on All Feeds. Next, click on Add New at the top. Instagram Feed Pro lets you create several different types of Instagram feeds. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this example, let's create a feed of posts from a public hashtag. So we can select it like this and deselect this one, then click on Next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on Add Source. And on this screen, usually we'd have to select between a personal or business Instagram account. But when creating an Instagram hashtag feed, this feature is only available for business accounts. So it's already selected for us here, so we can go and click on Login with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and it will show you all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook profile. Select the Instagram account you want to use as a source on your feed, like this, and click on Next. Then go ahead and select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account, like this. Then click on Next. Now it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with your Facebook and Instagram accounts. All this is doing is viewing the information it needs to display your feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf on these platforms, so it's completely safe. Go and click on Done, and there we go. Smash Balloon has now been linked to our Facebook and Instagram accounts. We can click OK here. And on our screen right now, we have one more security prompt, and it's asking us for confirmation that this domain is in fact ours. We can go and click Yes, it is my domain. And back inside our plugin, we can select that page that we just added like this and click Add. And that brings us into our next step. And since we're creating an Instagram hashtag feed, we'll have to add in the hashtags we want to display on our feed. To add our hashtag, all you have to do is type it in like this. For this example, let's go with hashtag Honolulu. And we have the choice of either displaying the most recent posts from this hashtag or the top rated ones. For this example, let's go with the top rated posts for hashtag Honolulu. Once that's selected, we can go and click on next. And lastly, on this tip, we can select from one of these pre-made templates for the appearance of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, Simple Grid Excel, Simple Row, and more below. For this example, let's go ahead with the Masonry Cards option like this, and then click on Next at the top. And just like that, we have a beautiful feed with all the top rated posts for hashtag Honolulu right here. And you can see that all the posts are arranged in that Masonry template we selected. But before I show you how to embed this onto your Divi page, let me show you how we can customize the feed first. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here, you'll find options to customize the layout of your feed. As you can see currently, we have the masonry layout selected, which shows all your posts in rows and columns like this in their original sizes. And then we have the grid layout, which once again shows your posts in rows and columns, but this time in a much neater layout. And then we have the carousel layout, which shows all your posts in a swipeable carousel like this. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which helps you highlight specific posts on your Instagram feed like this. Select the one you like the most. And if you scroll down below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. And just below that, you can also specify the number of columns you want to display in your feed as well, just like this. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner of your screen. And if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed to better match your website, you can do that as well. Under the Customize tab, once again, click on Color Scheme. As you can see currently, it's inheriting all the colors from our WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme like this, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact color you want for your Instagram feed like this. Select the color scheme you like the most and click on Save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, we want to make sure you look your best on all devices. That's why we've included buttons at the top right here, so you can preview how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. 
Once you're happy with your Instagram feed, we can go and embed it onto your Divi page. To embed it, go and click on embed on the top right corner. And here you'll find a dedicated short code for your Instagram feed. Copy it and click on add to a page. Then select the page you want to add your Instagram feed to and click on add. And here we are on our page. And since we built this with Divi, we can go and click on edit with a Divi builder. All right, so now we're on our Divi page and I'll scroll down to the area where I want to add my Instagram feed to. It's this section right here. So what we're going to do is paste the short code that we just copied earlier inside this block. So what you'll have to do is click on the plus icon and we're going to search for code. And here's the one we want. I'm going to select that. And inside this pop-up, we can paste that short code that we copied earlier like this. And just like that, you can already see a preview of our Instagram feed inside our Divi web page. And that's it. Our Instagram feed is now embedded onto our page. So we can go and click on save changes and then check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here it is our brand new, beautiful Instagram feed in the masonry layout, showing you all the top rated posts for hashtag Honolulu. And if you click on any of these posts, it will show up in a light box view like this. And there we go. We've successfully added an Instagram feed inside our Divi webpage. If you have any questions about the steps covered in this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. If you ran into any technical issues, please get in touch with our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.